Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the series where I show you cool stuff in programming and technology. Today I'm going to be showing you something new, something cool called Frogmouth, which is a Markdown viewer. So I'll leave a link for this repository in the description below. So let's just jump right into it. I just want to show you guys how awesome this is. So first of all, make sure you have Python and pip installed onto your machine and then copy this command, go to your terminal and then paste that in there to install Frogmouth. Now, hopefully you know what a markdown file is. A markdown file is a special type of format of a text file that makes it look really pretty or just nicely formatted. So if you don't know what that is, go ahead and check it out. Just look it up and it's really easy to learn. But I've already got a project with a markdown file inside of it. So I'm going to navigate to that. And now I'm going to simply run the command frogmouth. So frogmouth. And it's going to open up this fancy window here. And yes, this is inside of the terminal. It looks, I don't know about you, but I didn't even know this was possible to display something like this inside of a terminal. Maybe I'm just naive, but um, this is not all it can do. Give me a second. Let me just show you how awesome this is first. But automatically, if you know anything about Markdown, it shows up in a certain way. But Frogmouth takes it and makes it look really nice within the terminal. So you got uh, these headers here, you got regular text, and then you have these uh, smaller headers here. You got all these, you got a list here, looks very nice. And so yeah, this is just a readme file that I have for my project for my, uh, my Discord bot. And that's what Markdown files are commonly used for, it's just for uh, readme files a lot of the time. But of course they're used for other things, don't get me wrong. But if you look down here, you can see that there's actually some commands you can do that you can even click on if you want to. So you have F1 for help, F2 for about. Let's try F2, so F2, and this pops up. So it gives you the information about what version of Frogmouth you have and where to find it. Really cool. It's just crazy how advanced this is. You can do control Q to quit. So I'm gonna quit it and I'm gonna go back in there. So Frogmouth, it's gonna load it up again. And so now let's go ahead and try control N and this will open up the navigation tab. So you can literally like just navigate to any part of your mark markdown file. Of course, some markdown files are more complex than others, but this works pretty nicely for even this small one here. And you can even like close that and open it. Like it's so advanced. I'm so mind blown. Maybe I'm the only one in the universe who knew this was possible, didn't know this was possible, but I think it's crazy, really, really cool. And this just came out. But if you go ahead and click local here, you can go ahead and view all of the markdown files within your local directory that you're looking at. So it'll try and, it'll try and detect markdown files for you to look at. I don't really have any others besides the one that I'm already using. Well, I guess I have this license here, so I can click it. And it's automatically gonna load it up. Here I just have a GNU uh, license for my my project, so it's just a uh, software license that you can do for free. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, right? This is oh, this is crazy, right? And then the next thing that you have is the history tab. So all of the things that you've sort of looked at recently is listed here, which is crazy. You can go back to them if you want to just by clicking them, pretty crazy, right? And then the last tab here is bookmarks. And here you can literally bookmark different markdown files that you look at, okay? And this is not it, I'm about to show you something even cooler. So if we go back to the interwebs here, let's go back to a different GitHub project, just, just this one here. Uh, it's just a random uh, GitHub project called Audio GPT. I'm just gonna copy this ending part, so the name of the organization and then the name of the repository, copy that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do Control Q to get out of Frogmouth. I'm gonna go back to the terminal here and do Frogmouth GH, and then paste that, press enter. And now it's gonna automatically open that readme that is available from that GitHub repository that we were just looking at, which is crazy. I think that's really cool. So we can do the same things as before. We can do control N to open up the navigation. So if you wanna skip to any specific part of this readme file, we can do that. You can also bookmark it. And the way that you can bookmark this is by doing control D. And now we can name the bookmark. So I'm gonna call it audio GPT and then press okay. And now it's bookmarked. And we can go, we can switch between our Cortex readme and then the audio GPT readme markdown file. Just amazing, right? And as you may notice up here, you can see that the URL, there's actually a URL that you can uh, change up here and view. So instead of having to exit Frogmouth and then do that command like we just did, you can actually just paste the entire GitHub repository link up here if you want to. That's something you can do as well. And by the way, as you click certain elements, like for example, one of these bookmarks, it'll tell you that you can uh, go ahead and delete it or rename it, which is just really cool. Um, the last thing though that I wanna show you is F1. So do F1 and this will show you all the key binds and all the commands that you can do with Frogmouth, which is a lot. So if you wanna do stuff really quickly, you can learn all these different shortcuts here to open up the table of contents, the bookmarks and whatnot, okay? Um, we can scroll down, we can see that we have these other keys here, uh, the ones that we pretty much already know. 
We can scroll down even more. And you can see that there's actually more capability with FrogMouth. So I showed you the one with GitHub. So you can do FrogMouth GitHub or GH and then the repository uh, ending thingy. You can also do that with GitLab or Bitbucket, which are both uh, Git um, repository hosts. So it's not just GitHub that works with that. You can show all the bookmarks. You can show the contents of a markdown file. Pretty awesome stuff, I'm just saying. Uh, let's go ahead and close this though. We're gonna do control Q to exit. And one thing I wanna show you is if you wanna open up a specific markdown file, because of course I have multiple markdown files within this directory here, you can do frog mouth and then just the name of the file. So in case that wasn't obvious already, that will open it up specifically. Um, if you do it just without anything, just frog mouth by itself, it will open up just a random one, I believe. So in this case, it's just my readme file. There we go. But yeah, that's pretty much all I want to show you about Frogmouth, except for one thing I'll show you in a second. But yeah, it's a markdown sort of viewer thingy that you can use within a terminal directly. Not just for Linux, but for uh, Mac OS and Windows, of course, as well. Um, it's pretty freaking awesome. I didn't even know this was possible, like I said a million times. But yeah, I recommend you try it out yourself and let me know if you like this and you found it interesting and if you want to see more stuff like this. But before I go... There's one more key bind I want you to try just before we go. You can't really use frog mouth without trying this key bind out. It's very important. Go ahead and press F10. And there we go. You put your frog mouth markdown viewer in light mode. Awesome, right? Just beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.